When I started playing guitar, I was about 15 years old. All I wanted to do is play the guitar and be a rock star, play solos and just play the songs that I loved playing. So I took a guitar lesson and the teacher told me, David, learn your intervals. <laughs> I did not learn my intervals. I couldn't care less about those things. Why would anybody learn your intervals? And that is a very important question. It's really important to know why you're going to learn something before you do it. If you don't know why, then you're wasting your time. And in this video, I'm going to give you five very practical reasons why you should learn your intervals on the guitar. Reason number one, play anything you hear. And I'm not only talking about what you hear on the radio in the car. I'm also talking about what you hear inside. And that's so important when it comes to developing who you are on the instrument. Because an interval is the distance between two notes, that means that whenever you hear something, regardless of what you're hearing, whether it's a chord, whether it's a melodic theme, it doesn't matter. It's all made of intervals. Those intervals make the emotional appeal to the song. That's what makes this song different from this song. And if you can associate sounds and muscle movements to all these different intervals, that's going to save you so much time when it comes to your apprenticeship of the instrument. You're going to be able to play anything without requesting the tabs. The second reason why you should learn your intervals is that it's going to allow you to know which scale to use instantly without asking for the chords. The third reason you should know your intervals is that it's going to help you put more emotion into your playing. I've seen this happen a lot of time and I know that you have too. We see a guitar player play a solo and the solo works, but it just sounds very static. It's just a collection of licks that you've heard over and over and the guitar just seems to be in automatic autopilot mode and all the licks have been heard thousands of times and even though, yes, it matches the chord progression, it's nothing really personal, nothing really memorable. You're probably expecting what I'm going to say here. It's not the pencil that tells the story, but it's the author. It's not the guitar that should tell the musical story, but it's you using this as your pencil, your instrument. And knowing your intervals is the key that is going to connect your inner idea with the outcome, the delivery through the muscles. The fourth reason why you should learn intervals is that you're going to become an expert at harmonizing things and overdubbing things. Let's take, for example, this theme. If you want a harmony in thirds. And finally, the fifth reason why you should know your intervals is that it's going to unlock anything you need to know musically. Just take any music theory lesson and you'll quickly find that if you don't know your intervals, you're not understanding anything that is said. Knowing your intervals is kind of like knowing the alphabet. Without it, you can't spell anything. You can't read books. You can't improve. You're going to be stuck at some point. Now, hear me out. I'm not saying that you can't play guitar or that you're a bad player if you don't know your intervals. Not saying that, but I promise that if you do know your intervals, it's not going to limit you. It's going to open up some new ideas, some new concepts. You're going to be more in control of your instrument. And that's where real musical growth can start happening.